New at 4.30, more money troubles in south suburban Dalton. New welcome banners recently went up in that village. But the company that created them says it has not been paid. Regina Waldrop talked to trustees who say this is another example of how taxpayer funds are being mishandled by the mayor. They're a new addition on a busy Sibley Boulevard. Bright new welcome banners with different messages and a picture of Mayor Tiffany Henyard, her self-titled super mayor, written underneath. We asked some residents to weigh in on the banners. I think the allocation of funds to go should go where most needed. The banner would be at the bottom of my list if I ran a town. It's obviously self-promotion. I think she fashions herself as a, uh, she's imagining herself as some kind of reality show star. Henyard is accused of misspending and currently the focus of a number of federal probes and lawsuits. Residents continue to speak out at village board meetings, calling for more transparency on how their tax dollars are spent. The banners cost about $19,000, but the vendor says they have yet to be paid for them and other items totaling more than $85,000. Mosca Design emailed us a copy of the unpaid bill. It dates back to November 2023. Trustee Tammy Brown says the banners were never approved by the village board. They don't make any sense at all. They're all of the mayor. It's okay to have a banner that says, welcome to Dalton, but you don't need to have the mayor's face posted down, posted throughout Sibley Boulevard. Trustee Jason House in a statement told us it's deeply unfortunate that the administration has chosen to squander funds on self-promotion while our fire department has gone without a contract for five years. This blatant disregard is a slap in the face to the hardworking individuals and the creditors burdened by the millions of dollars of debt incurred by the mayor's reckless spending. Our community deserves better. NBC5 reached out to the Henyard administration for comment, but we didn't hear back. Now that the world knows what she's doing, I'm hopeful that more people will get out of their comfort zone and come and help us with this. In Dalton, I'm Regina Waldrop, NBC5 News. I was 14 cents. Page two, Chicago Midway Airport, $200. Page three, Cooper's Hawk Winery, $557.68. Page three, Dollar Tree, one hundred forty-five dollars thirty-two cents. Page three, Food for Less, one hundred seven dollars ninety-nine cents. Page six, Irie Jerk Hut, one thousand three hundred fifty-six dollars twenty-two cents. Page six, Italian Fiesta, one hundred thirteen dollars fifty-nine cents. Page six, JJ Fish and Chicken, sixty-eight dollars. Page seven, Johnny T's Bistro and Blues, ninety thousand. I'm sorry, ninety dollars thirty cents. Page seven, Kirk's Barbecue, $676. Page eight, Pot Belly Sandwich Shop, $126.57. Page eight, Ruby Soul Food, $674. Page nine, Sophia Tamales and Corn, $2,400 even. And page nine, The Tasty Crab, $458.79. Uh, my motion will be that we pay the bills as read, removing the items stated. All right, is there a second? Second. Okay, there's been a motion and second. Any discussion? All right, so I have, I have a discussion. So yeah. well, the problem I have with you guys coming to board meetings and acting as though y'all don't get things, I don't appreciate. I think this year you should tell the truth that you guys don't do your job. And if you need information, you should ask for information that you feel you need. Don't get to a board meeting and put on a show. How you gonna lead trustee house when you don't even know where to start? You're leading them blind and y'all following him. That's the sad part about it. Prime example. This is a what? Electric warrant list. That means they did what? It's already spent. So how dare you get here and showboat for the people out there in the audience? You already know what it is. So why are we sitting here playing this game, wasting time, saying I'm going to take this out, that out. It's already been paid. Come on now. Stop playing. This is 2024. Let's move forward. Let's handle the business. Stop letting the business handle y'all. But go ahead for the obstacles. If y'all want to do that, uh, call a roll clerk. Mayor, you asked for discussion. Then I tried to speak and you start talking. So can I? No, nah, I something? didn't start talking. Y'all did, didn't hear you, you say did. anything. But if you want to say I something, did. just ask to be recognized again. Well, can I we going to run this business the way it's supposed to. Let's let's be respectable. Follow Robert Rules of Order. Uh, but go ahead. Since you got something to say now. I do have something go ahead. to say. It's an electronic warrantless electronic also you keep and you made it very clear 
that these have been paid. Um, last meeting, which I said, and um, the finance director wasn't here at that time, but I'm so glad she's here now. She stated that we didn't have a credit card anymore because she said the trustees cut it off. That's so, true. Oh, okay. So if we don't have, I requested in the email, could we get the final statement? Because if we haven't received the credit card since May of 2023, and she stated that we cut it off, um, no documentation has showed that it's been cut off. So what card are they using outside of ACH debits? Okay. Before you start, yeah, I'm gonna give you the flow. Let's clear some things up. You guys did cut it off. When? You guys, hold on, I'm trying to explain it so you will know. You guys had control of the bank account that Trustee House did illegally and Clark Key went illegally and hijacked the bank account for an entire year. You know, like I know, anybody that understand money know that you cannot see anybody's information when someone else is on the bank account. That's it not means a debit the credit card. card. Hold on. Credit card, That's what I'm speaking card. of. Are you going to let me finish? Oh, yeah. That's what I said. We got to be respectful. You okay. say your stuff. I'll be quiet. You got to be quiet when I talk. So what I'm saying to you is that if you guys have done that, which y'all did as trustees, no one up here could see anything that y'all was doing for an entire year. We didn't have access to anything because Jason House was on a bank account. And so was Allison Key. The mayor wasn't on it. So we couldn't call, check up, check in, see what was going on because you guys was the holders on the account. So that's number one. Number two, I'm going to let her respond to your question because you get here at a board meeting and you know how to pick up the phone, call my phone. Yeah, Hopefully you'll do that this year since you said you want change and you want us to work together. Mm -hmm. It had to start by starting trust Belcher. You can't sit here and say that out your mouth and then don't do it. Yeah. So we're going to see what happened because you could have called if you had questions. Instead of coming, put on the same show we just did for an entire year. Y'all should be You just stated, it. be respectful to people. Not, not you, Tanjanique. I'm talking to the mayor. Be respectful, but um, Janice Johnson had access to the account. So for mayor, for you to sit there and say only the clerk and Jason House, that's an absolute lie because she cuts the check. So I'm sure she wasn't cutting the check blindly. Also, we have stuff on this list from June. She makes the decisions what checks go out, which I'll tell her to hold and not hold. So that means she had access because we had emails from the bank that showed the people that had access and control. Because at some point, you guys stopped letting the clerk and Jason House even see what was in the account. And they had to send the information via email. So don't get up here and say nobody had access to the account because Janice Johnson and I'm sure the finance director, Tanjanique, when had Tanjanique? access said there was no credit card at all when the American Express car originally had three thousand dollars here three thousand dollars there that we were seeing until we were moved from my viewpoint now it's thirty seven thousand fifty thousand twenty eight thousand so that means that all of the transactions that was on the fifth third account have now been used through the American Express card I don't care if it's fifth third American Express U.S. Bank we're entitled to it so please just give us access to either accounts payable again on my viewpoint or the credit card so we don't have to sit here we can see what you spent it on and move forward I see something on here that trustee house took off which I would have been like oh I think I know what that is from the way that it's line item. But I'm not going to sit here and fight a battle that I don't have a receipt right. for. The check that Janice cut had to be signed by those two people who had administrative access. Janice could not issue a check without those signatures first. Preach. Is there anything else? Trust, uh, no, trustee, that, you got trustee House or Clerk Key. Did either one of y'all cut off the credit card? No. Okay, you thank you. From the, uh, bank. Please forward the email to the Board of Trustees. You can have it tonight. Now, I've been waiting on a whole lot of stuff. Okay, you so well, you go right, that well, email. I have a comment, man. Um, when we're talking about access to the bank and the information, myself and Clerk Key, checks were printed by the finance department. Checks were presented to myself and the clerk. We would sign the checks, assuming they were approved on the warrant list. Once the checks were signed, they were handed immediately back to the finance department. Now, what happened with the checks beyond that point was beyond Clerk Key and myself's knowledge. Some checks were released, from my understanding. Some checks were not released. But that's past the point of our role in that process. Secondly, when we're talking about the credit card, I made no request to cancel a credit card. I would have liked to. I'll be honest with you, I would like to. 
but I made no changes. That the everything was be, was scrutinized through the court. If there was something improperly done, the court would say so. So there was no changes. And then additionally, when we're talking about credit card charges, in order to make a charge on the credit card, you have to have the credit card in your hand. So every item that we're talking about being charged had nothing to do with myself, had nothing to do with clerk key. It had to do with the card holder and the person that had the card in their hand. I didn't go, I didn't take any trips. I didn't fly anywhere. I didn't do anything that benefited Jason House or anybody else improper. Every charge we're talking about was done by the card holder. And um, so whoever authorized that, that's their responsibility. As trustee Belcher mentioned, all we're really asking for is the documentation and the proof. Personally, I would say ask that it be put on the website so that way it's transparent because we spent a lot of time in this meeting saying, I sent that, I didn't send it. At this point, please, anything you send to me, put it on the website, I'll get it for myself. Thank you. So you keep saying allege. Um, that's not a true statement. Allegedly, use it the right way because when they give you the check, it's the items you voted on, trustee house. And for the record, it's many a times this body, this board have voted for you guys to sign checks and you refuse to sign the checks at all. So when you state facts, state the truth, state facts that make sense. You're making up things that sound good for you or what you feel that you want doing or whatever with a credit card stop. It's all like a spin cycle up here. That's all y'all do. Y'all get up here. We put on a show for the outside world. <laughs> but yet, if you guys want any information, I'm going to say this and I'm going to say it again. All y'all have to do is ask. All y'all got to do is call me. I tell all y'all that. Don't none of y'all call me because y'all too busy fighting. Y'all too busy doing a smear campaign. And all y'all do is call if y'all wanted any type of information, any. But no one calls my phone. We get to a board meeting and we sit here for hours going back and forth over. You said this. We doing this. This was going on. This person got the car. Like, come on, stop. It's kitty stuff. It's like I'm over it. Like, stop. I just wish y'all just focus on the truth. That's all I want. So we're going to move May forward because we'll be here all night. We on the electric warrant. We still May got. Be recognized. Okay, one second. We still got AP warrant list and three other items. So go ahead. May May the. We, in the spirit of working together, because it is 2024, and we all just sat up here and stated that our whole goal is to work together for the betterment of the community. When we, you sit here and you say, can you hear me? When you sit here and you say we don't want to go back and forth, we do not want to go back and forth. But then you all say out of your mouths, we have credit card statements that we don't have. They're missing. They're clearly missing if we do not have them if they were not emailed to us if they were not sent to us and as we all know my viewpoint access our access has been denied restricted should i say so yes we can't access it but we cannot look up receipts i remember as a trustee you sat in that very seat and you stated to the mayor at the time that you would not blindly vote on bills or uh, or options that you've met on things that were purchased that you cannot present receipts or evidence for. You stated that out of your mouth as a trustee. So it baffles me that we sit up here and now that you're the mayor, when the very trustees are asking for this information, you're stating in that term, oh, well, we've sent it to you, knowing that you all didn't. We're not asking for anything that you didn't ask for as a trustee. Let's first make that We're clear. We're also missing financial statements. We haven't received financial statements in months. How is it that as a board, we're over the finances. That's the trustee's job. We keep hearing, oh, well, no one's doing their job. No one's doing their job. But this yet, is our job. here, and then we have invoices. We have emails every day. Dear, dear village of Dalton, let's start here. Dear village of, of Dalton, I have a payment um, for work that I've done. I'm going to take out the invoice number for their privacy. Where village of Dalton purchased, they purchased lights. We, the board approved the lights in June. Here it is. We're in January of the, the, the following year. They if haven't received. You don't want to email us the receipts or pro provide us with the receipts. Make it easy. Provide us back with access with my viewpoint so that we're not back and forth. But I just want to state for the record that it's unfair that as the mayor, you don't see fit for us to receive this information. But as trustee, this is the very thing that you were fighting for. 
transparency. Thank you, Mayor. For the record, trustee, you guys get everything that we have. We send an email, you get the financial reports, you get everything, and I've shown that in videos. Now you want me to go do some more work and show you again that you get what we tell you you should have. Now, as it relates to uh, transparency, we have been nothing but transparent here at the Village of Dalton. You guys can do spin cycles, scare tactics, tell people that we're not when we are. At the end of the day, I keep stating this, if it's something that you don't feel comfortable with when you come to this meeting, you have literally 48 hours to make sure you reach out, ask questions, bring up an invoice, talk about a receipt, whatever it is, but y'all all choose not to because this is your only time to get on a platform and talk or say whatever you want to say. Until y'all do y'all job, y'all can stop with the mess. Miss me with all that in 2024 because we here to do the business. So with that being said, call the road, Clerk Key. Let's move on. We got another warrant list, please. Clerk thank Key, you. is this vote for with the amendments? For yes, it is. Okay, yes. okay thank you. Okay. Sure. Trustee Norwood? Aye. Trustee Stan Brown? No. Trustee Tammy Brown? No. Trustee House? Aye. Trustee Holmes? No. Trustee Belcher. Aye. Motion okay. Passed. Moving on. Like that was pointless. That was just dumb. So now moving on. For the bills that are approved on this list, will those checks be released this week? Every time you guys approve bills, we do release the checks. Um, and I'm asking that specifically, uh, as Trustee Norwood mentioned, and there I've sent, as you asked, I've sent several emails about vendors who have asked for payment for things that were approved. Be more specific, Third Millennium and Associates sent the email on December 1st, they indicated $17,000, which was approved in August. Pure Tech, 32,500, email sent on December 19th, they were approved in August. LED lighting, that's the um, stop signs, the flashing stop signs look really good. $17,999.80, that was emailed to on 1219 asking for status, that was approved in April. Mako twenty thousand dollars that was emailed on twelve on December eleventh. That's for payment of, of multiple invoices and D's construction three hundred seventy eight thousand six hundred twenty dollars and sixty four cents. Again, I emailed without a response on December fifteenth. That was approved in July. That's the reason for my question. Is if uh, just to confirm, I have your word on record. So that's my statement. Thank you. Okay. So why do you guys keep taking things out of the warrant list that the people need? Why would y'all take out the concrete company? Why y'all keep taking stuff out that matters to the residents? Help me understand that, trustee house. Why did you take that out? So the items that I take out. In no, my, no, no. I'm talking about that one item right there. Concrete. Um, why, why did you take that out? How, how do public works keep going? If y'all take out people that supply us with things for water main breaks, because we had a whole issue when y'all did this same dance show when it was Thanksgiving. And we didn't have any cold patch. We didn't have nothing because you guys took it out of the warrant list. So how do you provide for the residents when y'all play this game? Would you like me to respond? You should respond. Okay. <laughs> My statement has been the same for the last four months. We have bills that are piling up that are way past due. We cannot afford them. And yet we continue to go out and get new bills and accumulate new things without following a budget, without a plan, just willy nilly. Hey, go over here. You get, you get a plane ticket. You get some restaurant food. So after at the end of the day, we have to pay all of our back stuff. Public Works again. Has Public Works been paid yet for their back pay for four years? <laughs> now we're past due. That's a lawsuit that they can file at any given moment. We also have other unions that are four years past due. We have tons of bills way past due in addition to the bills that I just read into record that need to be taken care of. So if those bills get taken care of first, pay your old bills first, then we'll look at That's the new bills. That's my saying. Because at the end of the day, we still got to provide the service for the resident. Regardless of your thought or how you feel about things and how it's ran, our job is still make do with what we have. So right now, if we have to order concrete or need a, like I just said, a water main fix, uh, a whole uh, patch, it's people that call us every day about things like that. But you guys sit here and play All this. we're doing is trying to clean up what has been broken for so long. And if you guys would just work with me and stop fighting on every little thing, we will be a whole lot further as a community. There's no unity here. 
All you guys is create chaos, y'all chaos agents. That's all y'all do is go and create mess, but with no solution. Name one thing y'all have came up with or done in this community. Nothing. Y'all voted last time to pay, well, not y'all. That's when Tammy Brown flipped on y'all. Voted to pay everybody, including her friends. But yet you and the clerk chose not to even sign the checks. <laughs> y'all don't even sign the checks after the board voted to. Y'all just say this is how the game go, right? We put it up, they vote for it, and whatever check come up, we supposed to sign them. Y'all didn't sign them at all. So let's talk about how you still got things sitting. Things sit because y'all refuse to sign the checks. So if you refuse to sign the checks, what does that mean? That's my problem. Y'all have to do better, trusty house. You can't want to lead people and can't lead, man. You got to do better. I keep telling you, just because you out of suit don't make you suitable. Stop. Stop. You got to do better than what you're doing right now. And right now, you're doing this keeping up confusion, keeping up mess. You got to grow, man. All right, moving on. Can't make a statement. Yep, make your statement. Uh, four years ago, we were not in this mess four years ago. Yes, we were. So, correction, we were not in this mess we were paying bills we did not have vendors emailing us on a weekly basis for non-payment yes i did approve to pay my friend and it is january 2024 and my friend still ain't paid along with <laughs> because, other friends. because your your so, other friends so, didn't be for real be 100 <laughs> people are not being paid you know so this is nothing that nobody's doing a grandstand show the emails are here if anybody would like to see them i can print you a copy and I will block out the other information. So, yes, again, we were not in this mess four years ago. We were able to pay our vendors because we follow the budget. That's the reason why you make a budget. And it is to be followed, not to spend and do as you want to do, nearly will. Thank you. Y'all making a, a fictitious play world of y'all run stuff and y'all don't stop. I am the executive branch. Y'all are the legislative branch. That's it. Know your place. Learn your seat. And that's the problem y'all got. Y'all overstep. Y'all have to know what to do and y'all don't. That's why y'all keep losing. Y'all getting school from our attorney, the village attorney. Y'all got legislative accounting that y'all pay. Y'all talk about budgets, right? But y'all been paying that man, right? Y'all been putting him Absolutely on one list, not. Right? Y'all been doing that. Trust me, you are out of order. You out of order. Stop telling so those lies. Y'all been doing that, right? So y'all should stop, stop lying. Y'all keep on having this attorney come in, make up these fake lawsuits that y'all keep losing, losing at the taxpayer's expense. That's what y'all keep doing. Y'all need to stop. But yet he's on payroll. Did y'all budget for that? Is it a line item for that? No. It is. No, y'all didn't budget for it at all. And that is it the is. problem. It's good for y'all, but ain't good for us, right? Y'all could do what y'all want, but minute we say, hey, hold on, y'all. Let, let's change this. Let's fix this. Let's do something different. Y'all keep talking about all that happy medium stuff. I told you that's all fluff. And then we get to this point, and then we got to fight over bills, pay the bills, pay the vendors. They did the work. It's like y'all want us to have bad credit. Y'all want us to have a bad image to the public that we don't pay our bills. That's the image y'all got out there. Why? Because y'all get here and people scared to come and do work in our village. We are a village, guys. This ain't no mom and pop store. We supposed to be known for paying our, our bills, our vendors, not sitting here and pointing out who we gonna take out. We don't do that, but y'all do. Call her up. Hey, clerk, for verification. This is <laughs> we we done with discussion. Clerk. Call her up. Clerk, is this with amendments? I'm talking to the clerk. Clerk Key. This is is this vote for uh, trustee? Thank you, thanks, clerk. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, also, too, y'all know I'm the receipts lady, right? I always got paper paper trail for all of them they were saying that they credit card that they that we line here's the proof right here an email stating that they canceled the doggone credit card well, send it from to the us bank so don't we worry can about see it. give it to all y'all including the public but my point to y'all is stop believing the lies they lie so much up here it don't make no sense like i said every night i gotta prove my love every night i gotta show y'all what it is it's sad they lie because they can't beat me i keep telling you they trying to run a campaign on lies ain't gonna get you nowhere nowhere next on the agenda because she sit here and tell these lies to say that we're paying an attorney 
She has not paid the attorney. She wants con total control. So she thinks that she's the only person that can have an attorney. And then we have no legal representation. That's for the board. If you look at the budget for anybody that was here during the time when they had a fictitious town hall meeting, which if that's what they call it, it says $455,000 was spent in actuals for legal counsel. 432000 of that went to Delgado. So when people sit here and they sit there and talk about what they got receipts for, what they don't have receipts for, she has not paid Bert Otterson. So as long as Bert Otterson, McGrath, or anybody else want to give us free legal advice at this point, pending payment, we're going to accept it. So you can put it on there every meeting to one of us is absent two three four of us is absent but you're not going to sit here and keep trying to control the situation where your attorney because he made it perfectly clear he worked for you he don't work for us we didn't hire him as the uh corporate counsel we hired delgado firm as the prosecuting counsel so technically we don't even have corporate counsel but for you to sit here and keep lying saying that we are paying somebody that you know has no check has been cut you need to stop it's ridiculous. And you sit here and talk about, I did this, I did that. They lie and they lie. She sat here and just pulled up a piece of paper. If you got something that said that it canceled it, and I'm sure all of y'all, including you, was on the email, we requested it. Why wouldn't you give it to us? But you say we sit here and wait till we get here to ask the question. If she had something, she should have sent it to us. Then we wouldn't even have the discussion. But for you to sit here and keep sitting, lying, talking about somebody, first, we can go back, pull the meetings up because she good for pulling them up. First, she said we paid them $600,000. Then we paid them almost a million dollars. But if you look at the actuals, only $455,000 been spent in legal costs, and most of it went to Delgado. So who lying? All right, you finished? All right, go ahead, Tangerine. Um, Otterson was not budgeted for in the budget. Thank you. Legal counsel did Hold not have no description you of who order. it is. Let her so finish. Otterson was. You see how so you were quiet in her too. You got to be he, quiet. You a liar too. House and asked him on what page was Otterson budgeted for. I still have legal expense. Trustee, legal let her finish. You see how we be quiet and let you do your little rant. Be quiet. Let her talk. She got the floor. I am it's not justice. Time. You're not telling it's me. It's her time. Quiet. You have to be quiet. <laughs> no, I am not. Go ahead. Go ahead, um, Tangerine. I just wanted to make it clear that was not budgeted for legal yep. expenses. Oh my God, that's your and problem. That's your for. problem. Be quiet. It was not amended and added. It was not budgeted for, it, and it is not included this year either. Legal expenses okay. does Thank not show you. trustee. Specific you cannot over talk her. Let her get her point out like you just did your rant. So you have to be quiet to hear her side, like we was quiet to hear your side. Stop. Point of order. Follow Robert rules of order, please. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead, go really? ahead, Tangerine. was not cut. That does not mean the expenses were not incurred, and you're putting the village of Dalton on the line to pay those expenses. Thank you, thank you, so, Miss Miller. So as we well, go on, um, and we talk about this, and we go back and forth, as you can see, people are so out of order, so disrespectful. You got to give respect in order to get it. If we talk and we be quiet, you got to give us the same courtesy. Ain't nobody interrupt you, whether you was lying or not. We shut up and we listen to your lie. Now you be quiet and let the finance director respond to you, like how we just did with you. As it relates to y'all attorney, y'all attorney don't do nothing. So if you're saying free help, give that back. Because if it's free, it shouldn't be for you. Because he ain't winning no cases for you. So why would you even have a person like that around if they causing the, the village, the taxpayer money? You got to just talk and talk about nothing and ain't producing nothing. And that's my problem. Y'all talk. But ain't putting in no action, ain't no work. At least my work speaks for itself. No matter what y'all want to put up against me, go lie to people, bring media here. Who tears down that town? Like, think about that for a minute. Y'all, y'all black. Black. Look how we fight. African American community fighting like this over what? A title, a seat. I told you, you all are bench warmers. Everybody gotta go. At the end of the day, you wait your time. You wait your turn. Your turn ain't here yet. We don't run to 2025. And then you let it be what it be. Like I said, then you come and run against me. But all that little fake stuff y'all be trying to do, it ain't working. And it ain't going to work. As he said, any weapon form against me ain't going to prosper. So y'all should stop. Call the world, Clarky. Mayor, I have a comment. Now you got something else. Go ahead. <laughs> so my, 
just the the entire meeting is set up for an argument. Um, information is not given to the board, and then we get in here and set up to say, "Yes, I did." Um, my ask, I keep asking the same thing. Let's put it on the website. We don't have to go back and forth. We don't have to do any of this show. The same item has been put on the agenda for the last nine meetings. I'm exaggerating. But the mayor did say she's going to keep on putting it up there, knowing that there's not enough support for it. It's set up just for us to come in here and argue. That's the whole intention. Come in here and argue and then state, I don't want to go um, back in. The meeting is set up for an argument. Um, sorry that it's set up that way. And hopefully we'll do different in the next week. Thank you. Trustee, yeah. that's that's definitely not true. And then um, you should basically pause on the things you actually say. If it's set up for argument, then why take debate? Stop it, because it ain't set up for argument. The whole point is to show people that y'all are full of crap. Y'all put things up on here. Y'all spend taxpayer money. Y'all do all this wasteful spending, but point the finger at the long wolf, the one that's still standing, right? The one that's still standing. Y'all point the finger at me when it's you guys that's really running them up. You four. Trusty House, Trusty Belcher, Trusty Noah, and Trusty Tammy Brown, who don't read nothing. She listens to what y'all tell her to do and come and vote accordingly. So state facts. And I have all the proof always of everything y'all lie about. But yet we got to put on a show like we always do to sit here, go back and forth for hours about nothing. When y'all can just do right. All right, call her up. May I? I know we still in discussion. Are you still? Yeah, we still in discussion. I know she had a speech, but I, I was waiting. What is that? Um, I can't hear you. I hear no discussion still. Hear. So I said, I know you were talking, so I was waiting on you. But you got something to say, yeah, trustee? Yes, ma'am. Okay, go ahead. Um, and this is just for the record, and I'll keep it fast. It's the hypocrisy for me. Again, as trustee, she sat in his very seat, and when she felt the mayor was not was withholding information that she was entitled to, she did the exact same thing, which is get their own special counsel. So when we have this discussion, and it's like this is some form that just these these set of trustees decided to do. Just for the record, it is not. This is what people have to do when they have a leadership that is not transparent. Thank you. Trustee, you ain't getting the flow no more. You repeat the same thing every time. Okay. You need That's to start repeating the, the same just thing just for the record. I'm just letting just you know. We done with that. Move just on. Call the road, clerk. Call the road. Mayor, Mayor, could I? You got something? Yes, <laughs> Oh, overtime, police. Before this administration that did not have security details following them around everywhere, overtime was at $600,000 maximum. Maximum every year. This administration is at $1.6 million. How are we going to get service? We need the mayor to mm -hmm. stop spending money irresponsibly. Mm -hmm. That's where the reductions came is off of all of the in <sighs> all the expenses that were not necessary until this one came in. And she even said in here, oh, man, forget that. I'm going to double it. Yep. That's the reason that we have vendors mm -hmm. calling because we can sit here and put it down there. But the minute that you go out there, tell a vendor you're going to do it. And then there's not enough money in the bank, which is what we're running into today, uh -huh. because we're receiving lies about money that's coming in. Uh, it went from what, 6.8 million in to 15 million? Never see it in the bank. Don't ever see it in the bank. In a minute, it no one wants to learn. And that's the problem up here. You guys are too prideful to come and just really learn from your super mayor. It's sad. <laughs> but go ahead, uh, um, attorney. She want to say some things. Hopefully, y'all listen to her. 